we have a program and we have a plan. And now that the county assemblies have passed the bills, the bill, and it's going to, it has gone to the National Assembly and the Senate, I am sure it's going to pass also in, those two, in both houses. We have a plan to roll out a national campaign from 1st of March this year, for next week, that is going to cover all the parts of the country. We are going to have 10 teams who are going to camp in every corner, in every village, in every sublocation of this country, starting 1st of March. And every team is going to be headed by a senior leader, a senior politician, with his team of around 10 members of parliament and 10 leaders from uh, uh, other sectors of leadership. And they are going to go to different parts of the country to go and do civic education, to go and tell Kenyans exactly in the villages what is good for them in this document and why they should support this document as a referendum. As you know, referendum is just like an election. We have to go out there and campaign. So we are prepared for the campaign. We are, we are now, after in two weeks' time or three weeks' time, when Parliament passes the bill, we expect the IEBC to give us a date for the by-election, for the, for, the, for the referendum. Why we are starting in March is because of the by-elections that are going on. We want to give them time to finish. Then after that, we will embark on a vigorous campaign. Yeah? A vigorous, when I say vigorous campaign, I mean vigorous campaign. That is going to shake every corner of this country. And we are going to reach to every village in this country. We are going to talk to every man and woman in this country to tell her or to tell him why this document is good for Kenya. And as you know, and as I know, and as everyone knows, that the handshake was meant to unite the country. The lies now are evaporating slowly by slowly. The truth is coming out. That is why you are seeing all the counties in this country are voting for this document. Because they have realized that what was brought to them was propaganda. Those are issues of propaganda. I know why the MCS voted for this document. The MCS voted for 35%. And the word development. They voted for word development. They voted for representation. Because now some of the MCS, by the way, will, if this document passes, will become CECs. They will become ministers in their county assemblies. The M MCS are enlightened nowadays. Yeah, they are not like those previous people. They, are, they know what they are doing. This issue of car grant, this is neither here nor there. What's a car grant of two million shillings, by the way, <laughs> if I may ask? It's not about that. It's about what contains in that document. So I think we are, we are excited. And in Parliament, we have already started the process, uh, as uh, Honorable Junetta said. Um, we, there's already a technical team. Um, that's been appointed by the two speakers uh, and it is looking through, first of all, the first thing is to receive the certificates uh, from each of the 38 or 40 um, counties and immediately we have 24 received and verified, then the process in Parliament will kick in. So already there's a team, certificates have started coming in and there's a technical team of the two houses that's already working uh, on our process ile hatua muhimu zaidi ilikuwa ya county assemblies. So unataka kuhakikishia taifa kwanza uh, kwamba ikifika bunge we can comfortably say we have the numbers. And the next step will be as easy as expected. The tough part was yesterday. And God is with us. Na tunawauliza wale wote wanasema wanaunga raisi mkono wasiwe wanafiki. Kama unamunga raisi mkono, hii ni project of the projects. Ile ambayo raisi uhuru kenyata wameshikana na raila odinga kuhakikisha inchi hii imeenda mbele. Mini mekuja hapa kuhakikisha kwamba njini wote mutaipitisha ndiyo mutulete sasa tu, tuyendeshe mbele. Kwa hivyo hii document Mina fikiria ni ya kusema kila kiongozi atachangia kwa sababu itakuwa ni yetu. Hata naomba pia DP abadilishe roo yake ngumu. Abadilishe roo yake ngumu na ache kuwa na uyu ujanja. Aelewe kwamba wa Kenya wamejanja uka uko chini. So as leaders, now that the MCS has given us a go ahead, ni kuenda kwa wanainch and tell them and educate them and give them the documents to read and tell them this is how it is going to benefit our people because it really is a good document for our people. Nataka kuambia watu wetu wa Meru mugenia bantu betu tafadhali uh, mimi nataka kuwashukuru sana nyinyi uh, hasa 
wabunge wa kutoka area ya Mount Kenya Meru mkiwa moyongoza kwa kupiga kura kwa wingi kwa kupiga kura kwa kisha MCA wenyu kwa kisha kwamba mumepitisha hii kwa kauli moja na mumakisha ya kwamba sisi tumepitisha BBI. Na sisi hapa BBI sasa tuna, you know, hapa Nairobi tunapangilia kuanza campaign za Nairobi mzima. Tutazunguka Nairobi mzima ndo kisha kwamba hawa watu milioni tano wa Nairobi county wapiga kura milioni tano wa Nairobi county wame support BBI bila, ku, bila kupingwa. Na nyinyi pia naomba huko kwa mlima Kenya muendele vivo hivo. Tunawashukuru sana kwa kusimama na rais wetu, rais Uhuru Mwege Kenyata na kumsikiza na kupigia kura BBI sababu yeye ndiye mwanzilishi wa hii.